Hello, my name is Noah. I'm the founder of Potion. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a footer for your Notion Potion website. Uh, most websites, you're probably going to want some kind of footer with links and things that you want to send people to. Um, so we're on my website, potion.so, and I have this exact kind of thing. I have a footer. I have all the different links to different pages and things. And this is pretty standard and typical for a lot of websites. So this is probably something you're going to want to be able to do. The problem is, up to this point, to create this in Notion, you'd have to basically like copy and paste all this stuff. Um, so like we can see here, I'm in Notion, I'm on my Potion page, and I have all my links, but then if I go to one of my secondary links, or pages, um, I basically had to just copy all this stuff over here. And so that's a lot to work. If I wanted to change one link over here, I'd have to change it on my other pages. And so that's not very great. But there is a new way to do this with Notion Sync Blocks, which Potion now supports. So I'm going to show you how you can use Sync Blocks to create your uh, footer. So basically, um, I'm going to take my links and I'm just going to drag it into the sync, like so. Sync blocks don't allow you to have columns inside of them. You see if I try to drag into the sync block, which by the way, the sync block kind of has like a red outline that you can see there. But if I do this, I made a column, but it's not inside the sync block. There's only a sync block right here. So what you have to do to get around this is make another sync block for each column that you have. And so basically, you know, the number of columns that you have, um, like in my case, I'll just have three three columns, so I'll have three sync blocks, and that's okay. Basically, you just are gonna have to paste it a couple times. Let's do another sync block. And uh, you'll see how sync blocks work in a moment here, but they're pretty cool. So we'll then drag this one into this sync block. <clears throat> and so now that I have my three sync blocks, I can actually drag each sync block and make my columns like so. And so now we have our three columns that look kind of like what we had before. <clears throat> and if I go back to the Potion website, you'll see that it's updated. These are the sync blocks. They're rendering correctly. And so now all you need to do is click on the block and you'll see this copy and sync. So you can do that to copy a sync block or, which will probably be faster since I have three of them, I'm going to copy all three at once. And then I'll go to my other page here, templates, which doesn't have the footer yet. Uh, we'll see on the website, no footer. And then all I have to do is copy and paste. And then here are my three sync blocks. Now you'll see when you copy and paste, the columns aren't you know, kind of copied as well. So you'll just have to drag them in. And boom, you got your three sync blocks here. Might want an extra space there. And so now go over to Potion and boom, it's it's live, it's updated. Here are my sync blocks. And so now what's really cool with sync blocks, and this is why this is so valuable, whenever you change content in one of the sync blocks, it will change in everywhere else. So I can just say enter another link, you know, I could then link to some website, something like that. Um, but if we go over to templates here, you'll see it's already there. It's another link. And if we go over back to our website, you see that that link just po popped up. If we go to templates, it's also there. And so then you just have to, you know, copy all these sync blocks just once to your pages. And then whatever um, links and things and pages that you add to the sync box will be on your website in your footer. And so this is a great way to make a footer. Um, and it just makes it a lot quicker and allows you to make updates in the future. So if you have any questions about this and how you can make a footer with Potion and Notion, just ask me on potion.so in the live chat. Um, but thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful in some way.